Hi, this is Adrienne Lule. I'm an independent beef representative for All West Select Sires. I'm in Junction City, Oregon today visiting Pam Dietering at Rock and D Ranch. And we're gonna to talk to her a little bit about her operation, the bulls that she uses, and some of the products that she likes. I'm Pam Dietering. I'm with Rock and D Ranch here in Junction City, Oregon. Of course, it's been a registered herd and, and we've built on this herd for a lot of years. And I've relied on All West Select Sires a lot. Um, in fact, I think somebody wanted to know what my favorite company was, and I, I filled out the survey or, and said, well, it's all West Select Sires because, number one, they had good cattle. Number two, their service was superb, and they always kept my tanks filled with nitrogen and whatever I needed, they were glad to help. So I always put uh, all West Select Sires up the top of my list of companies that I dealt with. To begin with, Legendary is a, a proven Cavanese bull. I've used him, this is my second, third year, and I haven't touched a calf, so that is wonderful. And they, they jump right up and they, <laughs> their instincts kick in and they're, they, they run that heifer down and I love it. I love the legendary calves. I love that way. The heifers are really nicely muscled even. You know, you, you kind of think maybe he wouldn't give you the muscling, but he does. When I uh, look at my scans, ultrasound scans, we're increasing the marbling and uh, rib on these cattle. And he helped do that. They're docile cattle. Heifers don't get a bite of grain. They they never see grain in their whole life. Um, we're totally grass based. Um, they're they're eating haylage and some dry hay uh, through the winter. But I calve in uh, the end of December, January. So uh, I'm not recommending that for other people. But that's how it works for me. Uh, these calves are big enough when the grass is just now going to start growing here. And these calves are big enough that they can eat grass and, and take all the milk those cows produce. So it's this spring time of year that just, it just rips. It explodes here in the valley. And we've got to have cattle enough, enough cattle and good enough cattle to take on all the energy that we're producing here. When I was in college, um, you know, they were just starting to work with synchronization. This is years ago. And I always thought, you know, that's what I should do when I grow up. I should should have a dog, have a horse, go out. Somebody would hire me to go out and gather their cows and breed them all at once. Which back then was a far-fetched idea. But now it's the thing to do. And it's changed my life. Oh, made my life so much easier with synchronization. So the, there's uh, my replacement heifers in here, and I'm using the 14-day um, sync program. And uh, so when I give their last loot shot, I'll use the Estertech patch, and I rely on that a, uh, a lot because I breed off that patch, <coughs> and I also breed at uh, 66 hours, the ones that haven't shown heat. But the Estertech patch is, you know, I've used all everything there is possible. Estrotec patch will stay on and uh, gives me a really good reading. So yeah, that's a, that's a very important tool. Pam likes to use the All West Paste Plus right around calving, so I'm gonna have her talk a little bit about why she started using this product. Well, uh, I've used it so long I can't remember why I did, <laughs> but you know you have to catch these calves and you gotta weigh them and it that's that's one tough job when you really think about it. Pace Plus has always been in my toolbox. I find by giving these calves Pace Plus, they'll be chewing their cuds in a couple days. And to me, that's amazing. So I, I use Pace Plus always. Always have. Loved it. It's uh, economically feasible to do it. Um, and I think the cattle respond. You know, I don't have any scientific basis, but it sure makes me feel better. 